All right, folks, let's get this show on the road. This is a first look at the Swamp Fox Blade one power prismatic scope. I've got it mounted on my 10 millimeter pistol caliber carbine by TNW Arms. But for most of this video, you're looking through the scope. The scope is not mounted in a gun, it is sitting on a tripod with a camera behind it. I do not uh, point guns at my neighbors. There aren't all that many uh, decent quality uh, one power prismatic scopes in the market. I've got a little spec table here. Notice that the field of view of the blade is not listed in there. It looks quite wide and the eyepiece on this one I think is larger than the, on the other prismatic scopes, one power prismatic scopes I've seen to date. So I'm going to do some measurements on the exit pupil and field of view and when I do my follow-up video you'll see the updated uh, information. One interesting thing is that uh, the blade is powered by a CR123 battery while the competition is AAA, AAA or 2032. Uh, I use CR123 as a lot of my flashlights so that is convenient for me. Size wise these are all about the same size about four inches long. Uh, there is a little bit of variance in weight with PA being a little larger but 10 to 13 ounces seems to be where they are. About the same size as uh, a full size aim point. The reticle is illuminated, mine is green, although it's also available in red. Uh, the reticle illumination is day visible. It's not nuclear bright, but honestly, it doesn't need to be because the etched reticle in this scope at least is very, very nicely visible. I really have, um, it's very quick to acquire, and if your battery happens to die, well, you still have a nice thick uh, black reticle that's kind of hard, uh, uh, hard to miss. The big advantage of prismatic scopes like this one is that if you have astigmatism, this will work much better for you than a red dot. And uh, as previously mentioned, you're not nearly as dependent on battery power. Uh, this can run, work for you, for, you know, forever and a day. There are obvious disadvantages, I'll talk about that later and also a little bit in future videos. But uh, for close range shooting where you don't want to be dependent on batteries and maybe you're getting older, you need an adjustable eyepiece, these are good options. And all four that I list here, including the blade, are less than $300 and promise to be quite uh, durable. So for 300 bucks, nice durability, that's an interesting, uh, that's an interesting value. Uh, proposition. Moving right along, the way this radical is dimensioned, I overlaid uh, the picture of the red radical so you can see. The way the radical is dimensioned is kind of interesting in a way that um, there is a large 90 minute of angle circle and a um, arrow like aiming dot with a few uh, additional hold features that are interesting in the way um, the way they market it like don't call them hold on hold over features they call it brc uh, bullet rise compensation the guys at what at swampox correctly identified that nobody is really going to spend a ton of time shooting very far away with the one power scope not in the current market not like you couldn't do it um, you certainly can but what is more important is to be able to shoot both quickly and accurately at closer distances. So the way they calibrated the reticle is that uh, the top of this little arrow, that's what you see in the picture uh, above, is uh, 0 to 50 yards, which is about right for 200 yards with a 56. I'm not entirely sure what it is at longer distances for my 10 millimeter. I still need to play with it. But I zeroed it in at uh, 50 yards. And then the bottom of the arrow is 15 yards. The dot underneath is 10 yards. And the bottom of the circle is 5 yards in case you need to make a very, very accurate shot at close distances. I have a suspicion that really aiming at um, a law enforcement and things like that where you need to make an accurate shot up close. So the idea is that if you need to go fast at closer ranges, anything inside the circle is pretty much dead meat. And if you need to go make a really, really accurate shot, uh, hostage situation, just shooting something very small at close distances, you don't have to guess 
too much. You have distinct hold points that you can work with, so you're always going to be quite close. One side effect of uh, counting on closer distances is that it works equally well with almost anything because up close and personal, outside of between you know up to 50 yards, just about every uh, modern gun moves the bullet moves along almost uh, the same uh, trajectory. If you look carefully at the image, you'll notice that the reticle is not perfectly centered in the field of view. This is actually the third uh, blade scope that I've got my hands on. The first one was more offset, more off center and canted uh, counterclockwise. The second one, something happened in shipping, the prism shifted and I could see the edge of the prism, so I sent it back. This is the third one, and I measured the location of the reticle. It's about four minutes of angle off center with a very, very slight uh, clockwise cant. Now, um, in the grand scheme of things, uh, the slight clockwise cant actually works well for me because now it makes the reticle. Uh, straight to the world because the way I hold my gun it's very slightly cut it's just the way my body is built and it being slightly off center I'm not convinced if it's a big deal at all most people probably won't pay attention to it uh, so I am experimenting with it to see if it makes any difference uh, for me or not so far so good I'm kind of enjoying the radical and I'll keep testing it and beating it up and we'll see how well it holds up the sight is commendably easy to get behind. Very, very quick, very large eye box, and the image circle appears to be quite a bit larger than that of the competing sights that I have seen. So I'm going to, I'm going to do some measurements and see how it does and uh, try to uh, um, evaluate it and see. Uh, so far, I am enjoying it. I think it's a very good match for uh, close range shooting. Reliability is uh, you know, yet to be determined, but that's why we test stuff, and I'll keep tabs on how these do as more and more of them get out in the field. I think they shipped a couple of hundred or thereabouts, maybe a little more, so it'll be interesting to see how well they hold up. As always, um, thank you for watching. I will really do appreciate your time. If you have any questions about the blade, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. I'll expend, I expect to be spending quite a bit of time with this thing over the next uh, over the next few months. I'll see if I can maybe go get a, take a class with it somewhere, something like that. But with the in the age of coronavirus, it's a little bit difficult. But if you do have questions, please uh, ask in the comments below, or uh, go to my website darklordoptics.com and uh, reach out uh, through that. Uh, thank you for watching, uh, thank you for listening, and stay tuned for the follow-ups as I continue testing the scope.